Hey everybody, welcome! My name is Meredith Mindrose. I'm a Universal Healer and a Peace Visionary and today I'll be doing a Universal Astrology message for um, Taurus sign for the month of June year 2019. Are you ready? We're going to shuffle this deck a little bit more. I hope if you guys are Taurus, you're doing well. If you're not a Taurus, but you resonate to Taurus, I hope you're doing well also. I remember what was Taurus message last month. Yeah. Something about justice, break free. Well, we'll see what the message is for this month. I hope everybody's doing well. Awesome, amazing, fantastic. I hope you're learning or you're growing and you're wiser somehow <laughs> okay so let me just keep on shuffling for a little bit more okay and thank you for subscribing to the new subscribers it's amazing to see new subscribers okay. I have to like gently shuffle this thing because I blew my light bulb on my table <laughs> my very sensitive um, salt lamp light bulb because I was like chocolate and chocolate I blew the light bulb where is the light bulb? it blew this freshly changed the light bulb I have backups because I knew that um, the light bulbs keep on dying sometimes so I have extras I'm being more gentle with my turn <laughs> Okay, so this is it. We will end shuffling. Okay. Oof. 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 I was touching the tower card to slice it because he's on the top. Wait, where is the tower card? Yeah, and then I put it up. Yeah. First card is Ace of Cups in reverse. Wait, the Tower card is still here? And we have Four of Cups reverse. And then we have Three. Didn't you get this sometime a few months ago? Then we have this uh, Two, Four, Six. Why you have so many cups? And then you have King, Knight of Pentacles. Six. And then you have this, but reverse. And then the last one is you have Page of Swords. No clue what that is about. Let me see. Wow, why is this? Why was the uh, tower card so weird? You have a lot of emotional outbursts. I think that would really resonate to Page of Swords. It's a bit tardy vibes, I'm not sure, but I'll check. But I'll check. Right. We have Ace of Cups. And then we have Four Cups Reverse. I think you're so stubborn. I think you're not doing the thing that you need to do. Because I don't think you've healed your childhood issues. I think you're working too hard to avoid emotional responsibility. And you're kind of like sacrificing happiness. Because where is my tarot meaning book? Should I just... Where's my tarot moon? I can use this one. This is the Egyptian one. Page of Swords. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Page of Swords. Name. Mercenary, spy, inexperienced youth. 
Investigation, young but brilliant scholar. Page is a knave. I would love to use my keyboard now to look up on the different meaning of page of swords because I rarely use, I rarely get pages. I usually get page of wands, and that's like a messenger. Um, page of wands, page of pentacles, deliverance of money, and then page of wands, pentacles, page of cups, like um, messenger of love, and then this one is like the 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 Egyptian little booklet says it's um, mercenary and spy. <laughs> I am I I'm a little bit appalled and surprised that in in some of my readings for the astrology science, I feel like there's people in secret society and people in People who are spies. I thought it was a Virgo or something. Okay, let's get back to business with this deck reading. Ace of Cups reverse. I feel like I feel like there's this huge stubbornness. I feel like you're choosing superficial rather than confiding in the truth, I feel like you're scared to take the leap of faith. Yeah. I feel like you, you are scared to take the leap of faith. You've lost a little bit of hope or a lot. Um, choices that was given to you are unsatisfactory because you're afraid to take the risk of making a decision. You decided to kind of um, put off traveling or put off the new beginning. Um, your inner child is holding you back, unhealed perhaps. The Knight of Pentacles, feels like this Knight of Pentacles is that you're just avoiding, you're just like <coughs> earning an income you're just kind of like focusing on earning an income as a means to get away from confronting your past. Confronting your past. Everyone has a little bit of Taurus or a lot. Everybody has just a little bit or a lot. At least a little bit. Every human being who are born under the constellation of our Milky Way galaxy. Some of you guys have different percentages of Taurus or Scorpio or Aries or Gemini. So, you know, it may affect you 100% or 1%. It depends on how much the Taurus energy is affecting you. Um... I'm going to pull out the unicorns to help support this message. First card is the light. I got it! You feel you don't deserve a happy childhood. You feel you don't deserve a happy ending because you're happy. your childhood isn't happy. I got it. You feel you don't deserve a happy future. So there's the card leadership. And then there's gentleness. Oh, inner child healing. Come and work with me. I like to heal inner child. I like healing inner child more than healing ancestral karma. Because inner child is working with this life. Ancestral karma have to do so many past life residue healing and investigation and hunting. And maybe maybe this. Page of Swords because the little booklet says mercenary and spy. Maybe you're afraid of investigating what truly happened in your childhood. And some some inner child healing is very tragic. So much secret. 
What is this hazing? So much. Mm. So much. Mm. So much war. I don't know, it, it may affect to some of you, not all of you. Um, let me pull out the dragon and I'll keep reading all these cards here. <clears throat> so the troubled waters you're in, Taurus, is the self-worth issue and the faith to confront a, a deep-seated fear in your subconscious that is holding back holding you back from this joy, happiness, fulfillment, or a happy family. But obviously this is your grand big picture. But there's a lot of duels, fight, war you need to do with your healing the inner child, battling your self-worth, self-esteem. Like, I feel like you may show to people you're a great leader, you're a, you're a, um, an awesome leader because you know it's it's a persona you need to put up so that you can make an income or a money, right? But uh, your you're not winning in leading your inner child. You're not winning in that area. You don't know how to be gentle to yourself. And you, you, I think abruptly your innocence were taken as a child. And you have to carry this kind of like armor or plate, kind of like you have to be on your best obedience and you have to kind of like avoid showing a lot of vulnerabilities to your parents perhaps because they, they have too much of their own wounds showing up and you don't want to trouble them with your own vulnerabilities and emotions and you try to be the perfect the perfect kid or the perfect you try to abandon all of your emotional needs in order to cater to your parents' needs. So it, it seems like you... That's how your innocence was abruptly ended because you pull on the big mommy pants and took care of your own mommy. Or you pull on the big daddy pants and took care of your own daddy. And... There's this huge hole in your inner child where you're never you're never being who you are because you're always serving people to the detriment of yourself and you never even acknowledge that you're detrimenting yourself. But you know, you get the rewards. What's expected out of that self-detriment is money is um, fame or is leadership is acknowledgement and is pride and you're like the perfect puppet for people to um, pull the strings you let people pull your strings and you like pulling other people's strings as well and not a lot of people actually deeply respect you because you don't deeply respect yourself because you always detriment yourself and you kind of like push yourself too far and you don't recognize how much you haste, hate, haze yourself. Yeah, it is a bitter pill to swallow. Sometimes I have this unfiltered system in my communication, but it's all for the best. I'm not saying this to um, you know, make false spiritual development for you. I, I, I have this unfiltered communication. 
So some some of the things I may see may freaking stay in. I'm I'm not sure if I should apologize for telling some very bitter truth because sometimes we get loved for helping people see the stark fact truth you know sometimes you will hate us but at the same time you love us because we kind of like dare to tell you the the biggest baddest truth in the world that you your subconscious or unconscious are trying to run away from so i feel like the whole entire spread you're trying to run away from embracing your inner child because you're just catering to everybody else's inner child and that's what makes you like very imposing in self-hate and you don't even know that you're actually doing self-hate because you never acknowledge it because you're always like I can take care of everything I'm the mummy of the world or I'm it's like as if that you actually have some cancer vibes because cancer they love people to the detriment but you're like you're ignorant, but cancer is not ignorant. They actually realize that, you know, um, I'm mothering people. You actually don't realize you're mothering people because it's so deeply subconscious. Deep, deep subconscious. I think I shuffled so much. <laughs> okay. Flowers red, black, and gold dragon. Protects you in times of change. A time of rapid transition and transformation relaxes your skin. So you're definitely still changing no matter how stubborn you are from not wanting to take that step. You're going to be pushed to take that step. But it will be a safe journey. Thor's dragon. Thor, Thor working with the energy of Thor's dragon, um, it helps you shift a deep, fearful pattern in a very mas healthy masculine way. Because as if like, you know, when you're driving and your car broke down and then uh, um, the highway troll, highway troll, no highway troll, the, the highway rescue team or, you know, the patrol people, not, not troll, patrol. <laughs> so the patrol guys on the highway would kind of like rescue you and tow your car for you and fix it. Like maybe um, there's just a little bit of crack in the pipe or whatever it is so they help you and then they will carry you to the next destination so that is what is going to happen you will still there will still be shift and changes and you're going to get this very brotherly masculine energy to help you shift so maybe just maybe this could be a masculine figure instead of uh, you working with um w avoiding things and being superficial and kind of like avoiding emotional confrontation or emotional healing because you're just so busy working. Earth and Fire Dragon works with you to clear the fifth dimensional ley lines. It's time for service when you give, you receive. So I feel like you have a lot of. Can I see fire? And an earth and air dragon represents a perfect balance of heaven and earth. Stay balanced, ground your visions, manifest your hopes and dreams. So definitely you have some hopes and dreams because you have the, the inner child, the childhood card, and you also have the ten of cups in reverse. Um, if it's what upright, it will be like wish fulfillment, happiness, family joy. Earth and air. And then there's fire and fire, earth and fire. Taurus is Earth, right? Yes. Um, so, and then you have a lot of water energy. Ooh. Okay. So, the water energy in this spread, because there's Ace of Cups, Four of Cups reverse, Six of Cups reverse, Ten of Cups reverse, because all the Cups are reverse. Um, the only other thing you have is a Sword, a Pentacle, and a Wand. And the Wand is about beginnings. But it was in reverse so 
it feels like you're drowning in unresolved emotions. And as you're drowning in unresolved emotions, you're not going to feel stable. Because when there's too much water, life is going to be muddy, stagnant. Like, the roots will rot if there's too much water, right? Like, you know, the mangrove, but if the tree isn't meant to be living half in water and half on land, like a mangrove, um, like, you know, where the river and the sea meets, like, those trees there, the mangrove trees, maybe, um, then you can't make it because the, the roots will rot and you cannot find stability. So a big smack of the truth here is that you need to get some help to, to help you emotionally support yourself because if you let your emotions get unchecked, it's going to drown you and you can't run away with something. You, you can't run away from a boat that's sinking. Your life is sinking because your emotions are going unchecked and you're becoming more robotic, maybe. Because you're just focusing on work a lot. And you're not facing some past emotions that needs to be addressed. But the dragons are helping you balancing out the energy. The earth and fire dragon, the earth and air dragon. So the earth dragon is helping you to balance out your water energy. The earth the air and the fire is balancing out the, your water energy. Okay, so that is the dragon bit. Let's get to the this deck. <clears throat> so I hope so far you resonate to the message. But this is a wake up call for you guys that you need to not no longer be overwhelmed with your emotions. And you need to have like someone who can um, help you be responsible for handling your feelings. You need some emotional tutor coach to help you to kind of like alleviate the suppressed. Because there is this a dam. Like, you know where water is contained in that dam? The dam will burst and you need help because the dam either has burst or is about to burst um, and it's going to sink and you're afraid to confront because maybe there's this deep, intense fear of feeling not good enough because you judge yourself so thoroughly, you judge yourself so much. Um... So, so the key point here is that I know there's something to do with your past in your child. Um, you're battling with self-worth. You can be great in one area of your life, perhaps your career. But relationship-wise, um, you might even be even more perfect because you might have this ideal version of being the perfect wife or husband but emotionally you're still playing a part you're playing a pers personality but that personality is not genuine sorry maybe it is to some of you because this might not apply to all of you and oh i like this card i want this card for you guys Release. Release. Okay. I'm stuck with this. I don't know. There's something here. Should I like pull from here? Here? I feel like I should pull like that. Like that. Two more. <laughs> Weird cards. 
satisfied. So release, blue darkness, and pleasure. Okay, I want to say something here. <laughs> um, you know when you've you worked so hard to be perfect, when you you worked so hard to please everybody around you, and you suddenly have this kind of like a temporary deer in the headlights epiphany, and you're like, why the fuck am I doing all of this for everyone else but me? And then I can sense that you're going to, going to come into this kind of like cycle, these winds of change, where you're going to realize that I'm done and through being the perfect employee, I'm done and through being the perfect mother, I'm done and through being the perfect daughter, I'm done and through being the perfect uh, girlfriend or the perfect husband or the perfect anybody for someone else. And then you're going to kind of like, 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 you know, go back into your t rabbit tunnel and then you're going to explore your darkness, which is going to help you. You're going to explore your darkness, which is um, your fear, emotions, your vulnerability. You're going to explore your vulnerability. And you're going to embrace it. And then you're going to, you're just going to like love the fuck out of your vulnerability, which all your entire life you didn't do. And that's how you're going to release all of the resistance of not feeling worthy because you've never allowed yourself to look at your self-worth and to look at your inner child and embrace and love and accept it and welcome it and welcome your imperfections and welcome your rather than like ignoring and kind of like trying to hide your imperfections you're understanding that you're welcoming it you're embracing it you're accepting it and then you're releasing any judgments and any ridicule or any kind of like standards that you put so that like you know when somebody is like always putting perfect makeup and always putting eyeliner when they go out or always kind of like um, dress dress in such a like high standard perhaps or somebody who is like always on time at work always the last person who leaves at work always giving and giving and giving or because you're you, there's a that, that very that big shift in your childhood where you pull that big mama pants or big daddy pants, big man pants, big woman pants, and you grew up too fast. You grew up too fast, and then you're learning to kind of like ungrew up. <laughs> so you, some of you daughters, you're gonna learn to ungrow up, and you're gonna make a space for you to be childlike, and you're gonna make a space for you to be open-hearted, and you're going to love yourself deeply and then it's going to be such a sweet relief oh i love this <laughs> this is a nice thing a sweet relief you're going to go through such a sweet relief and you're going to feel true pleasure of loving yourself to the point of no return you're going to you're going to learn to love yourself to the point of no return because you have this kind of like sweet relief like I feel relieved that I no longer have to wear the big mama pants or the big daddy pants or the big responsible adult pants because right now I'm embracing my inner child and I'm, I'm embracing my vulnerabilities and I'm not I'm, I'm not allowing my own energy to project that I have to be a good standard for anybody but I'm just going to allow myself to accept who I am now without trying to extort myself or push myself or you know when when a girl have to like fit in a certain jeans or dress and then they're trying to like diet they're trying to like put on that tight body sculpt thing spandex, spandex. <laughs> so it's like you're just allowing yourself to just be free and accept and 
what it is. And that is such a sweet relief for you. And I, I know you're going to feel good because you're going to open your eyes and you're going to say, how the fuck did I go that long without knowing the truth? This feels so much better than being such a, such a kind of like, such a sorry as a perfect sister, perfect human being. You're a model employee or you're a model teacher, but you know, you meet other people's standard of perfection rather than your own standard of perfection. You're going to go through this journey of finding your genuine self and your genuine expression and your genuine self-love and your authentic expression and your authentic identity. And eventually, like, you're going to have that power to go on that huge road trip of life where you do it for you and you're not doing it to impress people on Instagram or impress people on Facebook or impress people and you satisfy your need to love yourself and and make yourself feel good and happy and did we get the card delight we did and be delightful in your own self in your own journey I love that the lions okay last deck last deck I love your your message Taurus sweet relief this is a good one oh the the first card fl flipped out happy happy didn't you get this also last month maybe it's like, I feel like your entire journey is like finding happiness by allowing, by kind of like unloading your baggage. Learning to unload your baggages and no longer hide your life's baggages. Not everyone's not perfect and you have to unload your life's baggages. You don't have to be perfect so that you fit a certain criteria about your job or your life. Everybody has insecurities and life issues. Not everybody is perfect. Okay, people. I hope you feel good so far with this reading because it's a big turn. Um, just keep shuffling here right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you get the talk and then oh that's the second card. Time to go, where are you going? Time to go. That's your last card. Happy happy TikTok and time to go. Happy happy TikTok. And time to go. I'm gonna read this one and this one because the 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 meaning is quite long if I don't choose it. What? TikTok first. Thirty. Thirty three. Thirty two. Thirty one. Thirty. Divine timing. Mm. Everything has its season, its divine and appropriate timing, especially when it comes to the matters of the heart. Maybe this is the time where you get to be yourself without hindrance or resistance or sabotage. Remember that you always have enough time for love to find it, to nurture it, to give and receive it. Its clock is eternal and it's and takes according to the beating of your heart in perfect rhythm. Isn't that wonderful to know? Love is always right on time. Have you been feeling as if the clock is ticking and gotten a little nervous that your dreams are taking too long to manifest? There is nothing to fear. You will never run out of time for important things, for the important things. The miracles that are yours and yours alone cannot be missed. Isn't it that amazing? You're in such capable hands 
with guides and angels hovering in the invisible spaces, ensuring that your journey will be filled with all sorts of goodies. Let your anxiety be gently dispelled. You also get this card, gentleness as well. Let your anxiety be gently dispelled by your faith. Yes, work on your faith. Spirit will never deny you your highest good. All is yours in divine appropriate timing. You can relax. You can relax. Um, release. Also a, a sense of relax, I think. And pleasure. And pleasure and happy, happy. So it's like you get... You actually have, despite how you feel about life, happiness, wish fulfillment card, happy, happy, and pleasure. So life can be this nice life. You can have a nice life. You can have a nice life. And then let's read the third card, time to go, 45. 1, 43, 45. Um, endings, completion, walking away from something because there's nothing else to learn of experience. You are at the end of one journey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is like either the beginning of a journey, the ending of a journey. Or just now I said like a journey being kind of like uh, the, the, what is default plan? Delayed. Yes, delayed. You are at the end of one journey and have not yet begun the next. This is the moment to bless your experience thus far. Take stock of what you've learned. It's time to move on to a new experience and a new way of being. A new way of being. Let me remind you. Being more genuine and, and more and more, more authentic, yes? There's nothing left for you to do or be experienced in your present circumstances. Be or experience. Take the risk and move on even if you need to be in a transition for a time. Your destiny is calling you. Uh, this message is clear. The path you've been on with your work, creative projects, and business alliances have come to an end. You will not find the success you desire by continuing with what is now in front of you. This is an auspicious sign because there is no choice that will benefit you other than risking stepping into the unknown. I told you about risk. Stepping into the unknown, you have to do that. As I mentioned, like you're, if you're driving your car broke down, you will be helped by some brotherly masculine, like you know, the patrol highway man who's gonna tow your car and then's gonna help you with your car, and then you're going to be supported in taking risk. So, mm. um, it's time to step into the unknown and to walk towards something new. This card also pertains to the more neutral concept of completion. You finish your task and can rest assured that this ending will, op will open up a, a powerful new avenue of opportunity even better than you can imagine. You have done all you can, now trust that spirit keeps the plan moving forward. Fortune requires you to conclude this chapter of your life and remember when you close one door, another one opens. You have to read this as well. Even if it appears that you've reached the end of the line and all is lost, it isn't. You're in a situation that will resurface again later. So consider this a break rather than an ending. Destiny is in charge here. You lose nothing and gain everything when you surrender. Do we have a card of surrender? We have a card of release. Um, when you surrender to that fact that you lose nothing and gain everything, your soul knows that your destiny is unfolding with perfect timing and synchronicity. Your small self, the inner child, has doubts, but that is natural. As it doesn't have the map of your destiny, the soul does. Spirit loves you. Trust that. Sure. Shall we also read Happy Happy? Where's your happy happy? Where's my happy happy? Okay, here. 26. Joy, contentment, a sense of fulfillment, a feeling that all is well. Your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now. Find joy in the present moment. Whatever is happening, be satisfied with the things as they are. You're free from the shackles of longing and able to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment for you have chosen happiness over yearning for it. 
Now is the time for feeling the joy for the sake of joy. The light. Joy for the sake of joy and the light. We got a lot of happy cards. Mm. And experience contentment. Pleasure is contentment. Where's your pleasure card? Yeah, this is good. None of this is because of something outside yourself. Your happiness is a result of your being at one with spirits plan for your life. All is well. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playfully splashing it. Right. So, lighten up because this is a time to be ridiculous and silly. As I mentioned, you know when you are working so hard to be that perfect, to be so serious, to be so somber, to be so like, you know, I'm a leader, I'm going to be serious, I, I'm a hard ass, I don't have fun, I'm always on the go, I'm always busy, 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 and just doing, doing, doing. So you're going to have to um, be ridiculous and be silly, see through the world, see the world through the eyes of a clown, and don't take yourself or any situation right now to seriously have fun, be playful, make love the the order of the day. You'll be surprised by how everything just seems to fall into place when humor leads the way. Being happy and lighthearted is a wonderful icebreaker. Take life light, lightly and lighter. Life is meant for play as well for work, for laughter as well for tears, for celebration as well as focus. Spirit wants to sparkle with you today. Smile and enjoy each breath and each moment. Miracles lie in the silly things today. I hope you don't mind that I actually read from this book because this is a new deck. And I want to get as much resonating message to you guys as possible. Um, so my last message to all of you, Taurus, about your reading. Um, universe will show you a path where you're going to be able to see where you need to unwind and where, where you need to start facing the emotions that are building up and um, maybe finding a a psychotherapist or a um, healer or you know somebody that would help you process your emotions to help you understand how to tap into your uh, subconscious authentic selves and how to unwind your serious very hard ass I don't know I keep on saying hard ass because you're very serious and you're very kind of like always like even if you're having fun, you're having fun to please others, okay? That's how deep you are with the forest of your kind of like self-abandonment. So you have a lot to do with. Like if this was your tool, you're going to have to enter the forest and build a path. Because imagine... If inside that deep forest is your authentic inner child, soul, happiness, personal needs and personal desires and dreams and hopes, you know, you're going to have to like cut through a path from the forest and make a path to find your soul and go pick up your inner child and love it and embrace it and love the shit out of it and don't ever freaking live it and you will have that sweet relief of unwinding and removing the judgments and removing the standards of life that you put in because you grew up too fast when you were a child. So, if you feel like I can help you, you can check out if you want to do a healing session with me or you want a personal psychic reading, go check out my website and choose whichever session you think you may need. Or email me and I'll let you know. Usually, I work with my clients in the universal healing session, but if you have just easy questions, then we'll be using second readings. So, I hope this reading helps you to see how much your inner child is asking you to come back to the inner child so that you can love the shit out of it. And... Remember when I said you're stubborn? And I feel like your stubborn is a one-edged sword. 
Your stubbornness only hurts you. Learn to be more gentle. That's why this is a very important message from the unicorn. Be gentle. Whenever you recognize you're being stubborn, fight your ego and be gentle. Be softer. When you're so strict, if you don't feel like putting makeup, don't put makeup. I didn't even put makeup today. I don't want to put makeup. <laughs> if, if like that standard of perfection is only kind of like sabotaging you from being your genuine self. If you don't feel like wearing jeans, just wear slacks or wear sweatpants. You don't have to dress to impress. Dress that dress to serve your personal preference. You don't have to dress to impress. Just dress the way you feel comfortable. Okay, cool. So, my beautiful Taurus souls, I hope this reading has helped you to see what you need to see. And I hope that you will find sweet relief at the end of the month or within the month or throughout the month. And um, let me know what you think about this reading. Leave me a comment. Let me know um, how you personally feel affected by it. Because I want to know if some of you have that thing that I mentioned about your inner child go back home to your inner child thingy bit thingy bit thingy so sending you warm hugs good vibes beautiful vibes and I'll see you in the next month or sooner if you have a session um, for July 2019 Taurus Universal Astrology Message for now take care my name is Meredith Mindros I'm a universal healer and a peace visionary, and I will see you again. Bye.